We're working on some tandem leash walking. I'm using YOLO to kind of help me with um, Nacho Baby. I've got this harness on her and I actually have his orange leash, you can see, just kind of through that side strap. So I can move it closer or give him a little more slack as needed. But that helps kind of keep him next to her so he can't switch positions easily going around her. Um, I'm trying to teach him to be more on the inside position because she's a bigger dog. I like to have my smaller dogs on the inside if possible and the bigger dogs, taller dogs on the outside. That way everybody can see my body movement. And um, her leash is just snapped to the back of the harness. Normally I would have it on her collar, but it was kind of getting in the way of Nacho's uh, face and he was not liking that. So I just switched it for right now. Um, and this is kind of a short term process. I, I just like to hook the dogs up together. This is one way to do it. You can use a leash coupler as well, um, which I've done that with these two as well. Um, as well. I've just decided to use this harness and um, kind of make sure that he stays on the right side of her and the left side of me. Okay, you ready? Okay. And they have two different cues for healing. Heal. Oof. So I'm using both of them just because they don't have the same cues. Usually the outer dog, the dog on the far outside, is going to be a little bit further ahead than the dog on the inside. And that's okay. I want to make sure that as we're turning, everybody can see. Hopefully they can start to learn not to crowd each other, not crowd me. I'm kind of doing left turns. Good. And now we'll do a right turn. Good job, babies. And getting used to sitting when we stop. Sits together. Very nice. Super. Super.